Good day mga Kabayan Techers, this is Sir The Kabayan Tech. And today, we are going to expand more on Macrium when it comes to network saving and some Q&A. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. We are trying to hit the 1000 mark for this year. And if you eventually like this video or any of my videos, kindly click on the thumbs up. Thank you very much. So before we start, I do apologize for all the followers that I have. I've been out for a while due to some medical reasons. I didn't do any repair whatsoever. So for the next few weeks, I will try to upload some of my videos that were captured before and I haven't edited them. And up to now, you might notice from the sound of my voice that it's a little bit coarse. At least you know that I'm still okay and I'm still doing fine. So thank you very much for those comments and questions or emails that I got that where I, am I at? So going back on this, I have a, a technician who emailed me, what if there are new updates of Windows? There are a lot of solutions when it comes to injecting updates on your original image. But here, the beginner's way is to restore that image using the Macrium and you're going to check the updates. And if there are updates, update it. And after you update it, you create another image using your USB stick that has the bootable uh, Macrium rescue disk. I know it's kind of old school, but I usually do this every six months. So this is already updated. So let me just shut it down and we're going to boot to the Macrium uh, bootable disk. So we go on to the boot option and I go on to Lexar. Pardon me for the screen. I know it's dusty. It's been a while, so I'm really sorry. So we go on to Windows PE. And the one that I will use is the Macrium Rescue RE version. Uh, the reason for that is it supports Wi-Fi and network cards. So let me go on to that and boot into normal. So once this one is load, load up, then we proceed with those Q&A questions. The first question was, can I save the image to a network server? So the answer is yes. There are two ways of copying it, either connecting through Wi-Fi or either connect through the LAN. I would suggest connecting through LAN because it's easier and it's faster. But if you don't have access to like a port on where your workbench is, then Wi-Fi would be your next bet. But be sure that your Wi-Fi is fast enough to handle the bandwidth. On the lower right, you will see it will show up all the available network connections if the computer that they're using right now has a Wi-Fi, you could just use the Wi-Fi that are listed below. Also, if it has an Ethernet connection, then it will show up that it is connected right now. When it comes to drivers, you could upload the drivers when you are creating the bootable disk. It is on the advanced option of the Windows RE. So, but before we create a copy, let's go on to the lower left side and it opens the Macrium Explorer and we are going to add a location drive. So I'm just going to have it as Z. So in my case here, it would be backslash backslash 192.168.80.5 slash I save it on ISOs. And that's the folder that I have. And then you just have to put your username and password for logging into that server. Once you are finished entering that, you just have to click on OK. So it depends on the speed of your connection and also the speed of your network server. So you might notice now that there is a network drive here that is shared. So let me just minimize this one and let's create the backup. So I'm going to image this disk and it's going to ask you for the destination since we set up the shared folder, it will show up here and I'm going to have it here and I'm going to click on OK. It will ask for the backup name. So I'm just going to do my setup here. So I'm going to check the verify image or backup file directly after creation and then I'm going to click on OK. Then we click on Next and then we click on finish so this will take some time so it says here it will do it around 14 or 15 minutes so let's just have this one run through question number two can i restore an image remotely and the answer is yes so all you have to do is to have like a bootable disk of macrium make sure the computer that you are working on is connected to the internet it will take a lot of bandwidth it also relies on the speed of the computer that you are using when it comes to logging in to the server remotely there are ways you have to go through with Tailscale or WireGuard. Or you could use the DNS to do this. Again, it's all dependent on your setup. Another question was raised, can this image Linux partition? The answer is yes. The only problem is there are some Linux distribution that requires to load the operating system on Grub or they have their own loading partition system. So it will definitely copy the partition, but there are times that when you are finished writing the image to the computer and restarting the computer, the Linux image doesn't want to load because of a bootable file. When it comes to mix of Windows and other non-Windows partition, 
it's a trial and error. So my suggestion when it comes to copying Linux partition, you could either use RescueZilla or CloneZilla, which we're going to have another video taking an open source cloning software that will copy Windows and also Linux without any issues. Another information that you have to remember is once you did the mapping of your network drive, which I did that has the username and password, every time that you shut down the USB stick, it doesn't retain that information. There is a way to automatically save and automatically mapped but in my case since my network here at home is a simple 192168 then i just type it manually so once this one is finished it's going to verify the image that we copied to the network so once the verifying of the file system is done you just have to click on close and we can shut down the computer now and let me replace the desktop that i have right now and write the image to that computer so another question is can i put this one on a pxe server definitely you can i am still exploring the network options i don't have a pxe server at the moment and i'm interested also in in that option and i'm going to set it up also on my home server there is more in-depth discussion on that on youtube uh, about pxe server but for now i'm using a usb thumb drive to load up the macrium so I have a different computer here that I'm going to write the image from the network using a USB stick. So again, let's load it up, RE version. So this would be my last video when it comes to Macrium. If you have additional questions, kindly write them down below. And if I could answer those questions, then I will answer them all through the comments. Now we are going to browse the image. But before we browse the image, let me just map again by going on to Explorer of Macrium. I'm going to specify my server now and I'm going to click on my username and password and then click on OK once you're done. So once we network the drive, then we're going to browse for the image and we go to my network and then we go inside this one and this is the file that we have. Then proceed with the usual proce procedure on restoring. As a disclaimer, I am not responsible for any data loss. So just be mindful about your data. Click on continue and let's wait for this one to finish. So once the image uh, restore is done, all you have to do is restart the computer, take out the USB stick and boot as normal. And that's it, Macabine Techers. If you have any questions, concerns or suggestions, kindly write them down below. If you if you are new to my channel take some time and click on the subscribe button and if you like this video kindly click on the like button thank you very much and have a good day